Let's go to South Africa now. To, uh, talk about the Africa Badminton Championships. I told you at the start of the program. Um, bronze medal for Team Nigeria in the team event. It didn't start good for uh, the badminton team from Nigeria. They lost their first game to South Africa. 3-2. Bounced back against Mauritius. Uh, winning that one also. 3-2. Uh, lost to Egypt in the semis. But before then, they defeated Algeria. 3-2. Uh, and that gave them bronze in the team event the singles event will begin tomorrow uh talk about africa badminton uh, championship uh, let's go to south africa now where a uh, badminton player salau did abdul fatai standing by to give us updates good evening abdul fatai welcome to the show good evening sir okay good to have you on the program run us through uh, the what the experience has been like for team nigeria at the africa badminton championship I can't hear you all. Uh, talk us through what your teammates, yourself, have been through at the ongoing Africa Badminton Championship. Uh, all right. Um, we, from the chat, we are in a group, they call it Group of Death, comprises of four, four countries. Why the other group comprises of five? Then I'm around the group. Nigeria is ranked sixth in the Africa, while the Mauritius, Egypt, Australia are ahead of us, and we fall into the same group. So it's not, it's not an easy run. Mm. Mm. We, due to the fact we will be seen in comprises of just two ladies and, a, and four boys. So we don't have any substitute mm. in the team. Uh, yeah, we uh, thank God we are able to to cope and came out of the group. And actually and winning we, winning bronze on the team events is actually medal, is a good one. Team event. Okay, in the team events. Bronze medal, good. Uh, singles events will begin tomorrow. What should we be expecting uh, from your team? Uh, we should be expecting good from the team. Hopefully from the ladies and the boys. We should be expecting more good. We both today we are tired after the, the game. We do not have any rest. We start the semi finals at let's say less than an hour. We are called back to the court. The ladies are tired. We really came with only two ladies, so we don't have any option. So they, we don't have any substitute. They, they have to keep playing. So that's why. But I will believe in the individual event. Mm. We've rested enough for tomorrow. We'll play one. Mm. Let's go back. Both singles and doubles, we are expecting gold from there. Okay, so you're telling Nigerians now you win gold in singles event and the doubles. It's okay. Uh, let's go back yeah. to the team event at the Fatai. Um, that game against Egypt, how difficult was it? Well, the game against Egypt, um, Doc has lost narrowly to idea. Well, Adia from Egypt is more experienced. She's a road to Olympic boy. She's, she's a senior player. Let me see. She's been in the game for a while. Why Doka is just coming up? But Doka is in pro Olympic this time. So hopefully, I believe she will do better. The game was 2 1. Doka is not literally 21 19. So hopefully, in the individual, she will be able to defeat her because she has gotten the convenience like that. She's not better at all. All right, thank you so much, uh, Salah Odin Abdul Fatai, for giving us updates from the Africa Badminton Championship. We want to wish you and your uh, teammates all the best. Thank you. So that's it, uh, Nigerian player uh, Salah Odin Abdul Fatai. They represented the country at the ongoing Africa Badminton Championship. Ten countries are participating in that one, and of course, they're eyeing uh, international championship qualification uh, from competing at that. So, bronze medal for Nigeria in the team event, singles event will begin tomorrow. And uh, Abdul Fatai says, Look, guys, don't worry, we'll win gold in the team event, we'll win gold also in the double sports tonight on channels television remember you can be part of the program twitter channels underscore sports facebook channels i think sports we're taking a look at everything that is going down in your exciting world of sports let's go on a quick break now when we come back we'll meet officials from the amateur bodybuilding and fitness federation of nigeria that's when we get us give us more reasons to talk don't go anywhere stay